13 Bad Habits That Are Actually Good For You We all possess undesirable habits, and if allowed to persist unchecked, certain ones can develop into more substantial patterns, negatively impacting our health and hindering our goal achievement. Nevertheless, when practiced in moderation, some habits typically viewed as negative can surprisingly contribute to our overall physical and psychological well-being. Therefore, before completely eliminating all perceived bad habits from your life, let's explore some that can actually be beneficial for you. 1. Skipping exercise. Certainly, engaging in exercise offers a plethora of health advantages. Beyond enhancing self-esteem, mood, sleep quality, and energy levels, consistent physical activity reduces the likelihood of developing various issues such as heart problems, depression, and dementia, among others. However, it's crucial to recognize that moderation applies even to positive activities like exercise. Forcing yourself to work out when fatigued from inadequate sleep, experiencing soreness, or overwhelmed by other life commitments may not be beneficial. Occasionally, opting to skip a session and prioritizing rest and relaxation can be the wiser and healthier choice. 2. Eating fatty foods. An antiquated dietary suggestion that you need not adhere to is the complete avoidance of high-fat foods. Fat plays numerous essential roles in the body, and a moderate amount is necessary for optimal health. It is advisable, however, to prioritize unsaturated fats over saturated fats, although maintaining a healthy balance is achievable. Options like nuts, olive oil, avocado, and salmon are abundant in unsaturated fats, while saturated fats are found in dairy, eggs, and beef. While some specific foods may not align with optimal health, ensuring an adequate intake of fat from diverse sources remains crucial for long-term well-being. 3. Eating Carbs there is a considerable amount of misinformation circulating on this topic, particularly in mainstream media. Some sources might lead you to believe that carbohydrates are the ultimate adversary, yet they hold a significant place on the food plate. Carbohydrate-rich foods such as quinoa, farro, sweet potatoes, and black beans are essential components. Carbohydrates serve as the primary energy source for your body, fueling critical organs like the brain, kidneys, and central nervous system. Moreover, the dietary fibers found in carbs contribute to effective digestion. Ensuring that approximately 45 to 65% of your total daily calories come from carbohydrates can actually help prevent various health issues in the long term. 4. Sleeping in. There's a common belief that individuals who sleep in are perceived as lazy or lacking the drive and discipline to rise with the sun. The reality, however, is that many people consistently get less sleep than recommended during the workweek. The repercussions of insufficient sleep extend to long-term health issues, affecting aspects like immune system function and the risk of heart disease. Of course, excessive sleep is not advisable either. Yet, if you feel the need for a few extra hours on a Saturday morning, especially after a particularly exhausting week, it's perfectly fine to catch up on those ZZZS. 5. Complaining. It might seem unconventional, but expressing complaints can occasionally have positive effects. Naturally, one wouldn't want to become the perpetual complainer who dampens every occasion, but there are moments when venting becomes necessary. Research indicates that complaining can be a stress relief mechanism and foster stronger connections with friends and family, signaling trust in sharing personal thoughts with them. Additionally, studies propose that individuals who voice their complaints tend to have higher self-esteem compared to those who internalize their feelings. 6. Swearing. While swearing is often seen as impolite, it's not entirely negative. Consistent use of profanity might convey excessive aggression, but the occasional use of strong language can enhance authenticity and genuineness. Swearing serves as a stress relief mechanism and aids in processing negative emotions. Surprisingly, uttering swear words may even elevate pain tolerance. Therefore, if you accidentally hit your knee against the table, letting out an, oh, fuck, might actually be a natural response. 7. Giving in to cravings. You might think that the most effective strategy to handle food cravings is to resist them for as long as you can. However, this method often results in overindulgence when you eventually succumb to your craving. While certain foods offer more nutritional value than others, exclusively avoiding perceived bad foods and restricting yourself to only good ones may not contribute to overall health improvement. Instead, opt to indulge in what you're craving and savor it, ensuring moderation, of course. 8. Wasting time. 
spent the past few hours continuously clicking next episode on Netflix? Well, who hasn't? However, it's essential not to be too hard on yourself. Productivity around the clock isn't realistic or healthy, and sometimes, it's beneficial to postpone a few tasks and allocate time for personal activities. Allowing yourself some downtime aids in giving your brain the necessary rest and recovery, acting as a preventive measure against burnout. If you can't shake off the feeling of unproductivity, try putting on a podcast and going for a walk. The ideas that may come to you could offer a fresh perspective on life. 9. Going out to eat. You may disapprove of friends who opt for dining out instead of preparing meals at home, as restaurant food tends to be high in calories and sodium and not as nutritionally balanced as homemade dishes. However, nutritional content is not the sole factor to consider. Your social life significantly influences your well-being, and distancing yourself from friends or avoiding social gatherings can have adverse effects on your mental health. Prolonged isolation might even lead to feelings of depression. Therefore, don't hesitate to join your friends for a meal out every now and then, as it contributes positively to your overall well-being. 10. Drinking wine to relax. Engaging in alcoholism is neither healthy nor appealing, and I'm not advocating for excessive consumption, especially not at your niece's birthday party. However, enjoying a moderate glass of wine at the conclusion of a taxing day is generally acceptable. This practice offers antioxidants, is associated with longevity, and is believed to contribute to protection against heart disease and detrimental inflammation. 11. Taking naps. You could perceive daytime naps as time wasted or disruptive to your sleep routine. However, taking a nap can actually be advantageous for your health. Napping has the potential to alleviate fatigue, enhance alertness, and uplift your mood. Studies also indicate that naps can contribute to lowering blood pressure. A brief 10 to 20 minute power nap can have significant positive effects on both your mind and body. 12. Snacking. Having snacks between meals is a helpful strategy for hunger management, and they shouldn't be unfairly criticized. However, if your snack choices lean towards chips and chocolate rather than healthier alternatives, you're likely to experience negative effects. It's advisable to opt for snacks that are both nourishing and fulfilling, like cheese and crackers, fruit and nuts, or peanut butter with toast. 13. Tanning. We are well aware of the harmful effects of tanning beds on the skin, and it's crucial to avoid them. Similarly, regularly neglecting sunscreen isn't a good practice. However, embracing moderate sun exposure can offer significant health benefits. Sunlight is essential for the production of vitamin D, a nutrient crucial for bone strength, improved sleep, enhanced mood, and a resilient immune system. Don't hesitate to enjoy some sunshine. It's evident that even habits deemed bad can be beneficial in moderation, and there's no need to completely eliminate them from your life. Sometimes, these habits play a vital role in maintaining both mental and physical well-being. What are your thoughts? Which of these revelations surprised you the most? Feel free to share your comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.